This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Of course I was sorrowful. Of course I knew every time I had sinned or even had my dog lick my cooch or woken up to it and just didn't stop her. <laughs> like, ah, okay, I'm sweaty down there, whatever. I don't know. And then I would, the tampons everywhere, that poor dog. She ended up going blind and having no teeth. I think that was her karma too and my karma for being, being gross together. I always say that because I'm like, every bit of people's story is relevant because even in the day and age where my father grew up in Mexico and he would tell me things about, you know, people fucking sheep or shit like that, you know, he knew it from a very simplistic mindset. He didn't even have all this shit on TV. So I bet he was blown away when he was like, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one that had this fucking issue. I'm not the only one that, that thought that toward even their own children because they were confused about, you know, the pheromones, confused about why they were having like an arousal toward having the child. Why is it, why is it arousing them? But it's really in actuality, it's the arousal of having had that with the mother and then that was your offspring so but a mother detaches that she has a different form of looking at it so she doesn't actually get sexually aroused by it but men actually do and it's like oh my god like you actually get the physical or sense of arousal and that's kind of scary that's kind of scary and so i understand why pedophilia is a thing i understand why people get confused and even with their own grandchildren they're still kind of like they don't understand because it's your genetic material and sometimes even that if you're not even related and these people they sense any type of relative like the dna right it's about the pheromones it's about the physiological changes of the brain the way it gets morphed the way you get oxytocin the way that you're that you're having that state of mind um when people are aroused by certain features of say children like myself and they can't manage to refrain from that that urge to want to engage with it you know engage penetrate fondle because in their mind they're easing they're satiating themselves and then when they wake up from that, they're like, oh my God, what did I do? And a majority of people feel sorrowful. And instead of taking it out and thinking, okay, if I stop that behavior, I won't feel that again afterward. They do it as a repetitive thing, a repetitive thing because they get angry that they had done it the first time. Instead of realizing it's okay. Like you can understand. I understand I got confused. I will never do it again. Same thing with this. I was screaming out never again, never again when I was, when I was giving birth. And then I realized, oh my God, the female officer had a live fucking cam on her. She had a fucking camera and she was standing there staring at my cooter for everyone to fucking witness. And I was like, oh my God, what a violation. What a violation, right? Somebody would normally be violated by that, but I disclose everything to everyone because there is a lot of shit that we were confused about even growing up in our you know, suburban homes that we were confused about why we had affection for our brother, why we had affection for our relative, our cousin or whatever. And then a lot of the inbreeding happened between the royals. And all of this is a part of our history. All of this is a part of our future about understanding these things and comprehending some things are not okay. So of course I had those faulty behaviors when I was younger. Like, whoa. Where, what kind of twilight zone shit is this? Okay.